Welcome to the Not Your Average Marriage Podcast, hosted by my mom and dad, Shanita and Rashad. All right, everybody. Welcome back to another episode of Not Your Average Marriage Podcast. And uh, I know it's been a long... It's been a while. Yeah, it's been a long time. Long time. (laughs) uh, But the quarantine has allowed us to get back back to business. All right. So in this time, we even got video going. Um, So we've got video... And we'll be able to set up a little, yeah, little ambiance that we put together. Um, but yeah, so today, I mean, we're just going to pretty much discuss what's been going on with quarantine since quarantine has given us a little bit of inspiration uh, to go ahead and, and reboot the podcast. Um, we talk about what we've been doing. So it's it's been what, since what, February, end of February? Since we did a uh, podcast? No, I'm talking about since quarantine started. Oh. Since COVID. Uh, well, actually, in the house, this, that was in March. March. The school got closed and stuff. That was in March. Mm-hmm. Yeah, so... Um, now it's June. It's June, yeah. We still at the crib. And school is about to end next week, officially. Uh, so it's been different. Been cool, but different. Um... So, I mean, what, I mean, I guess what have the effects been on the family? I mean, like, I know you just opened the daycare back up recently, but Mm -hmm. prior to that, I mean, how have we been maintaining as far as the kids go? Like, it's... I mean, I think our our kids have been pretty well, actually. Um, The homeschooling thing, of course, been up and down. It's... It can get frustrating. Very frustrating. <laughs> Shout out to all the teachers out there. It can get it's, frustrating it's tough. all day, and they just act. I don't know. I think if they're not at school, they don't think they're supposed to think. And so when you ask them to answer something, they're like, "Huh?" So it's it's just frustrating to get them in the mindset of I'm not at school, but I'm still doing school. I think that was the hard part. Yeah, it's, it's tough, uh, especially when you're trying. For me, especially, I work from home. And I've got meetings, you know, going on, and then you get questions that All come right. to you, and it's like, man, I'm right in the middle of a thought in a yeah. Zoom, in a Teams meeting, a Microsoft Teams meeting, and then boom, you here goes a question, and I'm like, yo, I can't do it right now, and so that's that's been the toughest thing for me because you don't want to kind of you don't want to come at your kids sideways because they're asking a question because I always right. want my kids to ask questions, but at the same time, it's all about timing too. Uh, so I, it's been several times because especially when you open a daycare back up and yeah. I'm here by myself. Because before I was home and they yeah. had a full schedule, like back to back, what they were doing every hour of the day. So and I, I was, I was, I was the teacher. I was the mom and the teacher. They had a question. I would go through them with their work. Tell them this is what you're doing today. They had questions. They would come ask me. Okay, at this time you do chores. This time you do literacy. This time you do math. So they had everything laid out back to back. And when I opened my daycare back up, um, I still, I'm only working a half a day so I can come home, make sure I check their work and stuff because I know he had meetings. Yeah, But I still laid out a schedule and said, you wake up, you do your chores, you do your work. That hadn't been happening. I just found it out recently. It's no hose bar. They just wake up and like, huh, daddy's working, so let's. Do yeah, what we want. It's, so. it's no hose bar. I do try to let them, I make them get their work done. But as far as, you know, schedule, uh, I ain't got time to keep up. Because usually in the, in, with the way my work goes, I have meetings from like 9 to about lunchtime. And then after lunchtime, that's when I can kind of focus on the, you know, on the kids' schoolwork. Yeah. Uh, but by that but time, you pretty done. much are, yeah, it's, say, it's, By it's, the time it's, I get home, yeah. we check it. If it's not, then they get mad at me when I get, I be, I'm yeah. the bad guy. Yeah, she's Because by the time I get home, I'm like, I look at something and I'm like, this isn't right. Like, you did this whole page completely wrong. And they're like, oh, and they got to go back and do it. And I'm like, a lot of times they just do it to get it done and yeah. not really paying attention to what they're doing. Because I'm like, you know this. And it's like, what? Then they try to blame it on him. They say, well, I couldn't ask daddy because he was in a meeting. No. And I tell them because they have their own tablets and their laptops. I was like, you can Zoom me. You can call me because they got this little messenger thing. But they just be trying to get over because they know they can. Yeah. I know. It's, it's, it's tough sometimes, though, for sure. Um, but other than that, I mean, it's, it's been cool, especially for me. I get to work from home. I, I, but prior to COVID, I've been able to work from home uh, most of the week anyway. Or not most of the week, but about half of the week. Uh, but I think this is going to give me leverage to hopefully work from home more often 
and, and a lot of companies, right? A lot of companies are starting to realize that, hey, we don't need to be able to uh, have people yeah. come into the office. So that's been a plus. It's been a plus for, for, for me, um, for sure, because I would love to work from home full time. Uh, but we do got to talk about the beginning of quarantine, though. Like, um, we we did a lot of new things. Like, we kept the girls busy with yeah. activities. Puzzles. Puzzles. We did puzzles. We did paint nights. Um, mm-hmm. We did the paint. We camped out on the porch. I did. He did. And we camped out no, on the back porch one night. Um, you started I, a garden. I do. Um, don't hold on. Don't just don't just like go over that quick. I mean, my garden. You started is a garden. I picked up a couple different uh, skill sets during during quarantine. One of them is my garden. Don't talk about my garden. My garden is lit right I now. I just said you started a garden. That's she's, all she's I a said. Hater. But she's a hater I didn't on my say garden. Anything. But she's gonna be eating my food. Miss Vegan over there is gonna be eating all my food once once it gets popping. And if the 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 vegetables are starting to come out, I'm starting to see some beans. I'm starting to see some 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 jalapenos, some some tomatoes. Is this the garden podcast or marriage? No, I'm podcast? just saying, like, cause you you was trying to skip over that. You was trying to. Skip so yeah, over. you started a garden. You also bought a a bicycle so now we go yeah. on family bike rides um we we've started a lot of different things one kid started um we had to buy another bicycle for another kid because yeah. one start learn how to ride a bike without Finally. training wheels so she had yeah. to move up to her big sister's bike and yeah. so then the big sister had to get a bigger bike so now we can all go on bike rides um yeah no it's, it's been, been fun it's been fun summer yeah. summer has been it's been different or spring summer, ain't summer, even started summer yet. has started yeah. but spring it's been a little bit different we didn't get to we we were planning a trip to cuba uh that oh, did yeah. not happen uh, that was supposed to be our spring break trip. Yeah. we did not get to go to we cuba we had it all planned we're out. trying to replan for next spring break yeah. hopefully it happens yeah, cuba, yeah we had everything planned i was excited cuba was gonna be lit i would definitely want to go on a uh tour to learn how to roll some cigars and get the cuban rum and all that stuff and indulge in the culture which I always like to do. Uh, I was looking forward to that, um, and that just didn't didn't happen. Um, uh, we yeah, all of our trips have gotten canceled. Um, we were supposed I don't know if we were supposed to say this, but we were supposed to go to Fiji uh, in the summer. That did yeah. not happen. It's not going to happen. We're supposed, supposed to go to in, August. in August. Yeah. That's probably not going to happen. But we're trying to adjust a little bit. Uh, we did go to the um, to the beach um, this past weekend, which was cool just to, to get out. Uh, so went to the beach and then we're doing some other things in the summer um, a couple road trip things um, so yeah it's, it's, it's been cool we're coping uh, hopefully things will start to get back to normal uh, we I think for the first time and Lord knows how long we actually went out today went to a couple of different stores went to some stores yeah masked Lord up mask on mask on mask for on sure. telling the kids don't touch nothing don't look at yeah, nothing <laughs> sanitized up I definitely we got hand sanitizer in the car but yeah we went out you know went to a couple of stores had to um, get a couple of things um but yeah no it was it's, it's been good um amazon definitely been great and instacart instacart for sure we she's the instacart queen over here <laughs> uh we got people uh Dropping, dropping off groceries every Just couple days. Just leave it at the door. Yeah. I get it. Yeah, no, it's been cool. And Olive Garden. Shout out to Olive Garden, too. We've been killing Olive Garden. Oh, my goodness. Hashtag not sponsored. We got Olive Garden <laughs> twice. Hashtag not sponsored. Shout out to Alyssa. She'll, no, she'll hashtag not, not sponsored for what? Instacart, Olive uh, yeah, Garden, ha- Amazon, yeah. everything you just that, named. All that. Hashtag not sponsored. Maybe one day. Uh, but, yeah. Uh, but, no, it's been cool, man. And uh, another thing I've been doing from a social perspective is you know, getting on Zoom meetings with my line brothers, that's been awesome. Um, we had a meeting um, not too long ago. What was that? Uh, Wednesday. We had a, our latest meeting on Facebook. We used You're, Facebook. A meeting? You had a, y'all had yeah, a meeting? Yeah, we had a meeting. Yeah, oh, we had okay. a, a meeting. Yeah, mm-hmm. for sure. Okay. And, you know, I my circle is small, so, like, you know, it's good to, to link up with the people that you're cool with. Um, so, yeah, that, that was that, that's good. That's good for your mental health, man. Get up with people and talk to people you cool with instead of just being bogged in talking to your wife all the time just saying what else i was just thinking today i was like i love hanging out on a good friday saturday with my husband but i would love to go out with some friends for some drinks and just girl talk just haven't done that in a while but 
Maybe yeah. one day soon. Yeah, no, I, whatever. It, I don't know when things are starting to open back up, so. Uh, I, it's going to be a while before I go and sit in somebody's restaurant, though. Yeah. Yeah, no, we definitely ain't going to sit down nowhere anytime soon. Um, but yeah, man, what else? What else has been going on? In quarantine, I mean, I think that's about it. You just kind of going with the flow now. Yeah, get a hobby, man. Pick up a couple <laughs> hobbies. Uh, I have yet, like, I've I've had hobbies, but I don't know. I didn't find a new hobby with this. Like, I mean, because. I'm always busy. Like, I had to literally, y'all, I had to buy a, cal- a, a home calendar. Like, yeah, and I have, my family. And I like, have to get on her schedule, by the way. Yes, I have to do everybody's hair. Um, the girls, they're still ain't that, dancing. Ain't that something, man? I got to get on my own wife's schedule. I mean, I have a lot to do. Like, I got to do everybody's hair. The girls are still doing dance, so they have costumes I have to alter. So I'm in that sewing. Not to mention, I made everybody's mask that you wear whenever you go out. So I had to sew that. It took you like two seconds. It doesn't matter. I had to pull out the sewing machine and sew it for mask. I mean, I'm still doing stuff. Then I had to plan my sister's gender reveal. I'm also Shout planning her baby shower. Shout out to So Tamir. I was making t-shirts for that as well, Drunkle. Drunkle I believe yeah. you had a shirt. For sure. Um, Living up to the name. But... I mean, I've been I've been doing stuff, and again, they're hobbies. Like I like making sure I like party planning, I like crafting and sewing. Um, so I didn't pick up a new hobby. My family has just been keeping me busy with stuff I'm already good at. The new hobbies have been lit for me. I picked up. I got actually got a new I got a new camera. So the camera that I'm filming this with, uh, a little step up from what I've been using the GoPro. Um, I got a drone which I have not opened yet. I'm excited to get that going. Uh, gotta gotta find some time to get into a field and and not crash it. Hopefully, uh, but yeah, no, I'm, it's my garden, bro. Like I'm proud of my garden. It's lit. It's lit. I can't wait to get some uh, some salsa or some cooked up. Got some onions. I got some tomatoes. Got some jalapenos. All kind of peppers. Any kind of peppers you want. Uh, tons of peppers. Green peppers. Bell peppers. Uh, ancho peppers. Habaneros. All that. It's all in there. Cucumbers. What else I got? Lettuce. I'm zucchini. A, squash. For you to be done. All that. It's all in there. And and it's going to be good too when I start picking it out soon. It's coming soon, man. Anyway. Let's talk about date night during quarantine. Date nights. Have we had a date night during quarantine? No. <laughs> no, we No, we haven't. Uh, and we and we typically tried to do one what monthly right before a quarantine. Bruh, it our fell date off. night have changed so much. It used to be weekly, every Friday. Then we went to monthly. Then we tried to go back to weekly. Like it, it kind of fell off. But I think for us, we do try to carve something out when it's just yeah. us. Like, uh, uh, well, pretty much our date night during quarantine been um. Whenever Oops. we get on a Netflix binge, ne- like <laughs> yeah, no, Netflix has been crazy. The bingeables. Yeah. Definitely been watching a ton, ton of Netflix. Uh, we the one thing I do, one thing I do like about, and I think a lot of businesses are gonna be, you know, kind of, uh, you know, learning a lot about themselves. But being able to download a movie off Amazon, paying nineteen ninety nine for it, I would pay nineteen ninety nine for it to to download a movie and watch it at the crib. Obviously, I mean, we have a a pretty nice experience, movie watching experience, um, at our house, so it's it's dope for us. But just even being able to pick up a remote and order a movie. The first one we did was, what was the first movie we watched? Um, that, um, the kids movie? Yeah, I forgot what it was. Off that of was Di- a it was great on, movie. It was though. on Disney, was it Disney Plus? Or was it? Mm-hmm. Yeah, and then we watched we watched Trolls. Um, when Trolls came out, we watched, paid nineteen ninety nine for Troll, $19.99 for Trolls. Then we watched another one. Uh, Scoob. We watched Scoob 1999. You don't think that's a bit much to watch a movie one time, though? I mean, because no. how much are movies now? No, but how much do we... When we go as a family, how much that's do we That's what I'm pay? saying. If we go as a family, but people that don't have a family. Like, that's a lot True. for, like, one person but I'm watching talking, a movie. That's, I agree. For one person, it's a bit much. But but even then, though, if you know, it costs... Let's say it costs $10. You go with a date, usually... How many people go on movie go to movies by themselves? Maybe Larry. Larry might be the only person I know. 
<laughs> you really gonna call movie. him Sorry. out like that? Sorry, Larry. He knows I love him, but it's he might okay, be only Larry. Dude that... I've gone to the movies by myself before too, Larry. It's a couple of people, but you should be going with a date, and you should be all with the. Family. I mean, but that's a date though. Like when you're date, when you take somebody to the movies on a date, just that's because you don't know them like that. You don't want them at your house, so that would still be good for that. True. Like I'm not going I'm not, to somebody's house on the first day, and they definitely not coming to mine. So. All I'm saying, all I'm saying is maybe not initially. Like maybe a week after the release, like give people time to go. Maybe a month after, not you know how long it takes a couple months for it hits DVD and becomes public. It does. Yeah. Maybe like reduce that down to a month or something like clearly that. Clearly, it can be done. It can clearly be done, mm -hmm. and I love it because it costs us easily what thirty, forty dollars when we all go yeah. to the movies. And don't let it be like Studio Movie Grill where we can get food, like, <laughs> which is we typically where here. we go. Mm -hmm. And I can cook up some some. We can do Studio Movie Grill at the crib. So you gonna cook up some what? Anything. What what they got? I can make what they got. Okay. But anyway, I like the idea, and I think it's it's a dope idea. Hopefully, you know they can continue or come come up with some kind of hybrid, uh, um, you know, scheme moving forward. So what else? What else has been going on during quarantine? Um, only thing that sucks, you know, from a from a quarantine perspective, is that I like I haven't been home yet. Like I haven't been home to see my parents yet, and that sucks. So I would I'd like to go go to Fayetteville. Um, that would be dope, uh, but I haven't been in a while. We can go for your birthday. Why we not? Can. It's coming up. Birthday's coming up. Shout out to myself and my daughter. Birthday's coming up soon. Um, I've been home, not um, not yeah. because I want to, right. not on a good occasion, but I have seen my mom. But I did see my mom. My mom Your came mom here for my hit. sister's yeah. gender reveal too. So that was a that was a uh, fun event. It was fun. So another girl. Another girl. Apparently, we can only have girls. That's it. <laughs> Stuck with them, all girls. But that's pretty much it. What, what else we got for quarantine? Nothing. I think that's it for quarantine. I mean, it is what it is. That's it. That's all I got. So you ready to wrap this thing up? Are we wrapping up? I thought we were talking about current events. Oh, as well. we can talk about current events too. Let's let's talk about current events. So, a lot of a lot of heaviness going on in the world right now. You know, you got George Floyd and whatnot. Uh, very um, unfortunate events. You know, um, it's you know amongst many others. Um, it's just a lot going on in the world, uh, and I didn't know we were gonna combine this with this episode, which is cool. No worries, but um, but yeah, no, it's, it's a lot. It's a lot to process. It's as an African American man, it's just it's tough. Like there's just things you gotta constantly think about in the back of your head in everyday life, uh, and it, it, it's 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 weird. It's it's difficult. Um, and I think he today, as we recording this as of today, I think they had his memorial service in Rayford. Mm -hmm. The church that they had the service at is actually like two seconds from my parents' house, which is very interesting. Um, shout out to John. I spoke to John, my best friend, yesterday, and he talked because I had no. I don't. I try not to watch the news, but I didn't even know he was from Fayetteville or from Rayford. Y'all, he lying. I Our do watch TV the news. stays on the news I do, channel. No, I do watch, I used it to watch up, it a lot. It is on that channel right now, and I ain't turned on the TV all day, so who turned it on? I used to watch it a lot. I, I t definitely toned it down a lot since quarantine, because I don't want to turn on TV and watch COVID-19 COVID 24-7. That's pretty much what it's been, so I have not been watching the news lately. So I, to, anyway, going back, I didn't know he was originally from, Fed, from Rayford, and so... Uh, I think he's having a service in Rayford. It happened today, and then I think he's gonna. There's another service. I think he's gonna be buried in uh, Houston, from what I read. Mm -hmm. I'm not sure on that, but I think he spent some time in Houston before he uh, went up to Minneapolis. Minneapolis. Um, but uh, but yeah, no, it's, it's crazy times. Uh, I don't even know where to start because it's 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 a lot. Uh, it's a lot to process. Uh, I mean, it's just. It is. It's it's a lot to process. It's just. For me, it's just like it's it's surreal that we have that we're going through this right now. You know, like we're going like prime example. I was talking to Alyssa, our oldest daughter, mm -hmm. and she was asking me about the protests and 
what what was a protest what's the point in protesting so we kind of discussed all that and talked about it and once you know I explained everything to her and why you know we were protesting and she looked at me she said so you mean like when Rosa Parks sat on the bus and then Martin Luther King protested she said you mean like like what they did and I said yeah just like that she said so we got to do that again yeah it's crazy and I said yep we're doing it again um so that that's what I mean when I say it's kind of surreal to me like it is we have we, we're still we're still there like we still have to do that as as far as you know you would like to think we've come it's like we're not like anywhere close like to to equality and it's it's sad and you know and, and we're for we're fortunate i mean i was raised and i'm and again i think i said this on this podcast before but i you know i've been fortunate enough to where you know my father went to the military and i was i've been raised in in ultimate conditions compared to most right so like i just kind of think that you know i'm 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 blessed and i'm i'm very aware like of where where i am and kind of where I've sit and the opportunities I've had and stuff like that. But there's like so many people that are not in that scenario. And I think the thing is, is that people like myself or people in general, you know, whether it be white, Asian, whatever, any other race, just be aware of of where you are and aware of your the certain privilege that you have and just be compassionate. That's that's that at the end of the day, that's what it's about. Just be compassionate, have some understanding about what's going on. You know, don't if my my advice to any you know any person that's that doesn't quite understand what's going on like you know don't don't worry about like i mean everybody goes to the protests and why are they burning down buildings well like yo you have to have the conversation to understand what's going on like don't just don't just judge because you you don't fully understand something like there's a lot of built up frustration behind what's going on and it's it's not just one incident like people aren't just spazzing out because George Floyd yeah. got choked out. Like, there's so many other instances. It's like, not, even recently, Ahmaud Arbery, like, those got like him. It's kind of like, it's yeah. that one thing that's like, that is the final straw. Yeah, it's like, like, yo. How much more can we take? Like, this is it. Yeah. That was and the it's, final straw. It's so, and it's not even that. You go back to Mike Brown, Eric Gardner, like, yeah. all, it's so much that's building up. And like, people are worried about like, pro, like, riots and stuff like you know that 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 stuff happens that's collateral damage and you know what those kind of, those are things at the end of the day like things can be replaced but think about the ultimate thing that's gonna come of these protests and, and riots or whatever even though i don't I, I wouldn't go out there and burn somebody's building down that's that's not me it's not in my nature but i understand i understand what's going on you know what i'm saying and at the end of the day like you know people have to understand like this is collateral damage in a bigger picture, in my opinion. Like, if if we can sacrifice a building or something like that in order for laws to be changed, in order for things, for my kids to have a, a better experience with cops, so they don't have to worry about, like, even when I get pulled over, like, when I get pulled over right now, like, certain people, they can go about their day, oh, man, hopefully I can get out this ticket, like, gosh, you know? Me, like I'm, I'm, like me, I'm worried about surviving. I'm, worried about I'm, I'm worried about surviving the, the encounter. You know what I'm saying? Like first thing I, you know, hey, t- twenty and twelve, like yo, don't move, don't, you know, like I'm really worried about just surviving the encounter. You know, and it's not a, nothing against the police officer. Like it's just I respect all police. You know what I'm saying? Like it's just I don't know what his moment you know what he's thinking in that moment like i don't know where his head is at so i gotta be on my p's and q's i can't make any sudden movements so like you know it, it's just different it's just different you know what i'm saying so hopefully there's some things that come of this hopefully some laws are changed like but something has to be done you know and it's it and it, at the end of the day you know I, I just i just pray that you know things are are you know get better and something comes of it because i'm 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 tired. We are all tired. Everybody's tired at the end of the day, and it's it's just getting ridiculous. It's ridiculous. Um, so that's pretty much. I mean, that's pretty much where I am. You know, I I, I don't know. It's it's no, it's frustrating. I mean, I mean, I agree. I haven't I haven't said much on social media. I think I said that one thing about how people keep asking us if we want a son, and I just couldn't imagine. Having a son right now, you know, uh, uh, 
a lot of the kid like a lot it's been a lot of little black boys that got killed as well yeah to me, um, right. i mean so i just couldn't imagine having a son and you know he might be hanging out with his friends and because he want to wear the latest things he's looked at as a thug like i just couldn't imagine like i said it on my status as well like i worry about my husband enough as it is like if he if he go to the store and he's taking too long or he not home from work at the time he's usually home from work like my mind just goes left field so i just couldn't imagine having a son as well and, like, and that's that's another thing that people don't really think about from from an african-american perspective it's like yo we can't just go and th this is not just you know this is th no matter who you are or what privilege or status you may have this these are everyday things you think about in life like every person that has a son has to uh, an African American son has to think about that you know everybody like it doesn't matter where you come from like like we have to like we've had discussions like yo even lately like man do we want to try to have another kid like me because me personally like I've want, I wanted a son I, like, I wanted to have we I have, obviously we have two girls right now I wanted to have a son and like even that like, like it's I'm second guessing myself like yo do I really want to I don't know if I want to deal with that. You know what I'm saying? Like, I don't know if I, I could take, I couldn't take that. I couldn't imagine, you know what I'm saying? Like, I could I just couldn't imagine, like, I, I couldn't imagine having a son. Like, right now, in these, in the times we are, we're in, like, I don't know, it, it's just, it's just hard. And not only that, like, another thing I was thinking about as far as from a privileged privilege perspective is, like, a thing that comes up in, in, in our conversations, especially with neighbors, is, like, it, my name, right? So everybody knows me. I, I go by Rashad. Constant that's, battle. That's my name. That is my name. That is my my chosen name from like, from like, I don't know when I chose it, but I'd rather be cho. I'd rather be named Rashad. I want to be called Rashad. That's my name. But I was reading. I was watching a a a, 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 a clip on about um. It was about uh you know a systematic oppression and kind of where it came from. And it talked about like how you can't like the names, the names on a resume for jobs. You know what I'm saying? Like, and that's where Ed came into play, which is my first name. Edward is my first name. My my dad's name's Edward as well. And I pref like as I got older and I got out of college, Edward had to go on my resume. I don't. I didn't want to. I don't. I want to be called Rashad. But from a, a conditioning perspective, like you have to have Edward, Edward on your resume. Better. Yeah, you have to have Edward on your resume in order for it not to be thrown out because your name is Rashad. Like Rashad is a, a quote unquote different name. And so I have to to my neighbors It's not a different name. It's, it's not, a black name. It's a black name. So I have to I have to explain that to like my neighbors. That I've got real cool neighbors and I've had to say, yo, like Ed is cool, you can call me Ed. That's that's fine, but my my real friends call me Rashad. That's what that's what I want to be known as. So it's just it's just it's just certain little things like that, man. That we just gotta we gotta work through, it. and and it's it's sad. It's really it really is sad. And you sit down and think about it, all the little things you go through in daily life that you have to like worry about. Like I had a cop behind me today when I was I was going to pick these chairs up or whatever. I had a cop pull up behind I'm me. Glad you got the inspection done yesterday. Yeah, I got the inspection done for sure. <laughs> Jesus. Uh, but yeah, cop pulled cop pulled up behind me. I'm cool. Like it's cool. Like I, I'm I'm good. You weren't um, at twenty and twelve. Right? I was at twenty like and twelve you just for said. sure. Where, where is twenty and twelve? Uh, t twelve. What is it? Yeah, 12, yeah. Where 12, is twenty 10, and twelve? Ten and twelve. <laughs> ten and twelve. My bad. Ten and twelve. My fault. Ten and twelve. Ten and That's here and here. You still right. What? Uh, ten, 12, and two? ten and two. My fault. <laughs> ten and two. See, I ride a twelve. My bad. I ride a twelve. The one hand at twelve is how I drive, for sure. Well, you said it early. I was fault. like, "Where's twenty? But my okay. Bad. Thank, thank you for correcting me, though. Uh, uh, but yeah, nah, just little stuff like that, man. You just but what about it. those of us? We, I ain't got no name changed to. It's Shanita. All that. I ain't. I, what I'm gonna change? To? Sh That's true. Shanita, Nita. My middle name Danielle. Like Dan, you could have went with Danielle. No, no. It's still, it's still either black or you mix with black, like Danielle. Is one of them. So, I mean, I ain't got no option. You get what you get, and at least with me, you know what you getting before you get it. But, so. but I, I'll ask this though: Did that conversation not come up when we named our kids? The first one, especially Alyssa. When we named Liz, did that conversation not come up? What about about it being name professional, like yeah. a professional sounding name? Yeah, it did come up, but I didn't want her name to be something 
like um like what olivia like something sterile like i think Alyssa is like a general name what? like you don't know what you're gonna get with Alyssa nowadays yes yeah. so we're just saying that's kind of what we got to think about you know what mm-hmm. i'm saying so i don't know man things we gotta think about so from a personal standpoint like what are we doing to I guess better our race or advance our people or to just help out in our community what are we doing so a couple things like a couple things that that I do um, that I currently even before this I volunteered at the school at my children's school Men and Blythe uh, it's a men's group, which we actually had this. We had this discussion about. We actually have a cop that comes in um, and talks to the kids about these type situations. You know what I'm saying? Which is sad, right? You have to have a cop come in, speak to the kids about interaction with the cops. So shout out to Derek. He actually runs Men in Black this year. And one thing I want to say about our kids' school, even though some people might look at our neighborhood and where we live, like you said, we're we're blessed. We're pretty privileged. We. we it, we haven't always been in this situation. We work hard to get here, sure. but we are where we are. But our kids' school is very diverse. It has a um, big Black and Hispanic population, but it's a it's a great school as well. So I love the school. Yeah, but not not only that. Like I think my the the bigger conversation I think I've had with my line brothers actually. We we kind of on Wednesday when we met. We kind of shot some ideas back and forth, and one of the things we we kind of talked about because I think voting, right? Voting is is the biggest thing now. Like you have to, you know, there's so many other things as far as district attorneys. Uh, there's so many other things that are voted in that affect us locally. Everybody's worried about Trump, right? Trump, Trump, Trump. Everybody hates Trump, or some people love him, but like Trump is like, at the end of the day, he's a small factor in the over in the bigger. The bigger picture right the local elections are what really matter right they they affect what happens locally in the communities and so what we came up with is that like we wanted to do something with uh with voting and like we want to put together like a coalition type thing to where uh you know we want to go through each candidate and we who? like my line brothers like okay. wherever they are locally go through the candidates and kind of, and we want to expand this out, um, global throughout the states, and go through the candidates, each local candidate who has our best interests, you know who who is going to take care of us if we elect them, and you go through the you go through that process, analyze each candidate, and then you put together just a base because when you go to the vote the voting ballot right, who who actually goes, to, who how many people go to the ballot and say I'm, I know I'm gonna vote for I know who this person is each person and i know what they stand for like no yeah. not a lot of people do that no so what, especially with the local election exactly so my idea was to say hey let's actually talk to these people let's go and analyze these people republican democrat whatever who who has our best interests in mind right and and say hey put this in a spreadsheet or some sort of database and say hey this is the guy that that has our best interests in mind like and then put that and publish it somewhere. You know what I'm saying? And say, hey, when you go to the voter ballot, you can take this piece of paper with it with you and say, hey, this is who you should vote for. Uh, and this this is the candidate. These are the candidates that have our best interests. Have time. you checked to see if that exists? I don't know if it exists. I feel or like not. it does. It I feel like I've not. seen it. But if if not, if it does exist, we need to prove improve upon it because I haven't yeah. seen it. It needs to be published. Right. Because the, at the end of the day, the local vote is what matters. Um, and everybody says it, right? But who is actually, who is actually like paying attention and, mm-hmm. and doing something yeah. about it? You know what I'm saying? So like, I think that is a step that I would like to take personally, is a, is to put forth an effort into that and say, hey, let's let's put some. And not only not only that, I think it, when you put a coalition behind it, it holds that candidate responsible. Like, hey, if you don't, you know, you said you were going to do this. If you didn't do this. We can hold you accountable and yeah. remove our support. You know what I'm saying? So that's kind of a thought about, you know, that's just a thought, an idea. Because and then I haven't posted a lot about this either. Like, on, I'm not a big social media guy. But that's kind of what I, I think about, like, the local elections are the biggest impact. And I think that's where we can, can kind of inflict change the most. That's just an idea. Okay. 
Um, I think the original question was, what are we doing? And you kind of got off my bad. tangent. <laughs> but you were talking about your mentoring at the school. Yeah, yeah, that's that's one thing. Black. But that's, that was happening prior. Um, but that's... Yeah. That's it? Yeah, I mean, that's that's pretty much it. What about you? Uh, you do other stuff. You, you, you cut yourself short. I mean, I, and I think that's a big thing with us. Like, we don't talk a lot about what we do. We don't boast about what we're doing to help our own people. Like, a lot of people just know um, we're doing pretty well. We own businesses. And, yeah, they're doing good for themselves. Because yeah. we don't talk a lot about, like, what we do. Yeah. Like, we don't talk about how... You know, we host the homeless at our church. Yeah. And, you know, we, you know, fix them food and do make sure they help them have a safe place to stay at night. I mean, shout out to Journey Church. We don't talk about that. We didn't talk about our trip to Africa. It was a mission trip. Mm-hmm. You know, we donated, you know, a lot of money and our time to work with those kids. Um, even with my, my daycare that I have, my daycare is 99% low-income family. So, um I, I, I love it like I because I will never forget that I was one of those families like you know my mom had a daycare about she did what she had to do to get you know to a certain point to make sure she took care of me so it's my way of giving back to those same kind of families um so I think when we say that we own business even you know with you with your running houses you're helping people yeah. that may Credit. not qualify with somebody yeah. else and so even though we own businesses, we it. still helping out our people that need it the most. Trying to, by us creating generational wealth, kind of helping them create some type of wealth for their their families as well. So yeah, no, it's I, no, I didn't think about that. Also, you know, I serve on the board for TKP as well. I had a meeting this this uh, this morning with that, and I, I wasn't Who I wasn't TKP thinking, uh, the Kogors Project, which is what we did. Uh, we went to Africa last year. Um, I serve a, uh, as a board member on that. Um, but yeah, no, it's 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 a lot, man. Like I I didn't even think about all this stuff. Like I I think uh, you know. It, That's because we don't we we. We don't boast about that. Like, no. We do it because we feel like it's something we have to do. Like yeah. that's something we're supposed to do, not because we feel like we have to do it. Yeah, I mean, and more. I mean, I want to do more. Like, what yeah, else? Yeah, we always looking for something. Yeah, we yeah. always looking to do more. So, I mean, we're we're trying to do our part. As long as it don't impede on us with our kids and spending yeah. time with our kids, because there are all those people that do 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 and don't do what they need to do at home either. But our top priority is always our kids first. If it takes away time for them, then we don't do it. But a lot of those things, our kids do it with us. Yeah. So. Yeah, we do plan on taking them to Kenya next time. Uh, I don't know when we're gonna restart the uh, the trips over there, just cause COVID. That there there has there's not gonna be any trips this year, but uh, maybe twenty twenty one they'll reboot. But not sure. Uh, but yeah, man, we you know I I just hope that things get better. Uh, we got a long way to go, and I think everybody needs to do their part and vote. I, again, voting is the most important, and I think a lot a, a lot of things. Another thing too is that I think we need more people more more minorities to become police officers. You know, we've got a culture where, uh, you know, F the police, you know, F12, there, there's a lot, there's a culture behind not trusting cops. So who, there's not many people that want to grow up to be a cop. And I think that that needs to change. They don't get paid that much. They don't get paid um, nothing. And, you know, they're risking their lives. So there's not a lot of people that want to grow up and be co- cops. And shout out to, we have a, a, a cop in our neighborhood, shout out to Greg, uh, awesome dude. And and again, I, not I don't want to sit there, sit here, and you know, bash on all cops because some of them are good, but at the end of the day, we have a problem uh, with the uh, with you know with that structure, and people need to be held accountable. You know, it's cool that you know everybody, all the officers are being are have been arrested, uh, and and you know in in the murder of George George Floyd, but at the end of the day, those people need to be held accountable, and that's that's what's missing, um, in. That's that's the problem right now. There's, there's this there's this secret society. Once you get in the judicial system, that they, they work with the cops, and there's no accountability, and that's the problem. Like if I, for instance, if if I if my tags were expired and I got pulled right. over, I gotta I gotta you know suffer the consequences. I gotta go get a ticket, you know, give them whatever the case may be. But you know, a cop can blatantly and 
Lord knows what would happen if it wasn't on film, right? So like, people need to be held accountable. Like every day, every day citizens are being held accountable for their mistakes, and the cops and lawyers, everybody. At the end of the day, you know you're going to be held accountable at some point, eventually, anyway. But uh, as you're on this earth, you know you need to be held accountable uh, for what you, what the mistakes you make, and that's just. That's just, you know, it's it's not a, a white or black thing. That's just a, a person thing. You know what I'm saying? So, I don't know. that, But I, I just hope that, you know, they get what's due to them, that that, that was not right. Um, and, again, shout out to the cops. I, I, listen, that that is a job that I would not sign up for. I didn't sign up to go to the military. Uh, and I didn't, I'm not signed up to be a cop because I didn't, you know, that's just not something I, I want to do. But you just said we need more minority Again, cops. we do need, I, I know, <laughs> I, I know, I, I did say that. And we do need them, you know, it's. But the same reasons why you wouldn't sign up for it, a lot of other black men ain't signing up for it. Uh, mm, that's, I, I'm going to save my thought for that. But that's, that's the, that's, that's true. That I agree. It's, it is absolutely true. But there are some people that can sign up to be. And I, and I think, you know, it's about, and not only that, it's about policing your own neighborhoods too, right? Like, take take care of your own neighborhood. We, we shouldn't have to call the cops for everything. What happened to the to the community, you know, taking care of the community? Don't nobody know their neighbors no more. That's true. A lot of introverts, including myself. <laughs> A lot of introverts out there. But, but and, we make sure we know our neighbors. I mean, that, it's I not just, hard to miss us. I was just about to say that. But at the that. same time, we purposely make sure that we walk or we take walks, we take bike rides, we speak to people. That is intentionally. We make sure they know us. That is intentionally for me, especially. Because when my daughters become teenagers and you see them doing something, please don't call the cops. You should know who their yeah. parents are and you should come and get me. That that's is, the way it should be. Yeah, that's, that's how it was when I was growing up. And I would just hope someone extend the same courtesy to you. Yeah, that, no, that's intentional. And for me, I, I run. I used to run around neighborhood. I haven't run in a while, but I used to run around the neighborhood just so that people saw me, and so that when I do, I stop taking runs and I run, start running again. And there's some new neighbor neighbors. They don't get alarmed. This dude with long dreads is running around the neighborhood. That that's another thing that we have to think of, or that I have to think about. Mm-hmm. You know, I have to make myself known in the neighborhood so that people don't spaz out. When I see a guy like me in the neighborhood, so it, I mean, this is small things that maybe some of my neighbors haven't thought that I had to think about. It's just something that it's it's true. It's true. Yep. So is is that all we is that all we got for today? Tonight. Um, I think I think that's it. Yeah. No. I just to wrap wrap up the George Floyd thing. I think we got a long way to go, and uh, we this is we kind of glazed over and went through it real quick. But I do think, like you said, I mean, like still wrapping up, but like you said, we haven't. Um, we still have a long way to go, but I I I do feel like our ancestors would be proud of us. Like we have come a long way. Like some of the things some of us have accomplished. You know those shirts that say "I am my ancestors' wildest dreams." I think some things some black people have accomplished and are doing like we had a a, a black president yes. like um just some of the things that we're doing the way we're living i and don't think some of them would have ever imagined we're yes we're still fighting but i think we have to give ourselves credit as well yeah and it's just like, all, all that we had to deal with and still some of us are still good like is we we are such a resilient race like we 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 can fight and very, and very forgiving fighting. too very very forgiving. very forgiving race uh cuz things could definitely go in another way uh, but i think that's um, what led up to this point being very forgiving and you just get to a point where you are like right. okay that's it yeah and and i do want to say shout out to all of the um shout out to everybody in support um and and, and it's 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 kind of, i feel a, a type of way about that because um you know I shouldn't be shouting out people that I shouldn't be shouting out people that are being good human beings, right? I shouldn't have to shout that out. It should be normal, you know what I'm saying? Like what I feel. Are you talking about? So like I, I was gonna say I'm trying to say shout out to the the people that are in support of Black Lives Matter and the whole all oh, the protesting yeah. that are going mm-hmm. on. But I feel like I shouldn't have to do that because it's just being a decent human being, right? At the end of the day, I shouldn't have to say that. But we're in a we're in such we're in a, a place of such division that I do want to shout out to the people that are in support and are understanding or are willing to listen and just have a conversation at the end of the day. 
like if you just want to have a conversation about kind of what we're going through and, and the things that are going on as a race like just you know just talk let's just talk about it you know what i'm saying like don't be afraid of the discussion it doesn't have to turn into something crazy like a debate just you know just like open up your heart and, and listen you know what i'm saying but for most people it does turn into debate because a debate because they want to be right like did did not pastor just preach on that like yeah. a lot of times you're 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 listening to respond you're yeah. not really listening you're thinking too much about what you what you're gonna say in response to what i said instead of really taking in what i said so yeah a lot of people they just they want to be right yeah that and that's why i don't i stopped i used to post a lot of political stuff back in the day and i kind of stopped doing that just because i don't i'm I don't want to debate anybody. Not not on social media anyway. Right. Like we can have a discussion, especially when it's something you live daily. How you going yeah, How you, you going to tell me how to feel tell me how about to feel. what I live yeah, exactly. on a daily basis? Exactly. Yeah. Exactly. So, again, a lot we it's, it's a, a long way to go and we listen, we've got to impact uh make the impact uh in November. Um I think it's, there's we got to vote. Okay, I don't, I don't if there's there shouldn't be um, a lack of motivation to go uh, go vote this November. So <laughs> no. either way, you know, whatever you may feel political. Listen, I don't like either one of these candidates. I'm going to be honest with you. I'm not a fan of Joe Biden, not a fan of Trump. Uh, but, you know, whatever the case may be, whoever you like, uh, you know, you got you to gotta vote. So whatever. So uh, I think that's all we got uh, for this episode. Hope this was an interesting comeback episode, been, It should be very interesting. Um, hey, if you got any comments, uh, just hit us in the comments, uh, whether it's YouTube or Facebook or whatever, um, or wherever you're you're listening. Um, just like, subscribe uh, on Facebook. We, we hope you watch us on YouTube. Uh, we need more subscribers mm-hmm. on YouTube. We, we're posting a Beer, lot of stuff. Beer Family Vlog yeah, Beer, on YouTube. Beer Family Vlog on YouTube. Um, we post our trip videos as well. Yeah. There's a lot of stuff that's going to go up there. Now that I have some a new camera and things like that, we'll be posting a lot more stuff. And shout out to my garden. If you're friends with me on oh Facebook, my goodness. just give me a comment on my garden and how good my stuff looks. Oh, my gosh. I appreciate it. But all right, we're about to get out of here, man. Thank you guys for, for watching and listening. Uh, we appreciate it, and uh, we out. Peace.